In more local news tonight, we'll find out if a new Northwest Arkansas animal shelter is another step closer to breaking ground. Fox 24's Andrew Epperson live in studio with us with how Springdale's furriest residents may have a little more room soon enough. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Chelsea. Animal service workers have hoped for a new shelter space for years. And tonight, they'll present the building plan to City Council. If they get the go-ahead tonight and another thumbs up at another meeting next Tuesday, they'll be able to officially break ground on the new facility. It's like just really unusual looking. Courtney Kramer is the director of animal services for Springdale, and she's excited for Monday night's presentation. Tonight we are presenting the contract to city council for approval so that we can get started on building our new facility. Voters passed a bond back in 2018 to build a brand new animal shelter. Kramer says the new space will meet a need dictated by a growing population. We have an average intake of around 2,500 animals a year, and with the current space we've got, it's just a tight squeeze all the time. So we're looking forward to moving on to a new facility that is going to be bigger. And also... The new facility is going to have better frontage in terms of traffic, people driving by. But some aren't so thrilled with the new location on the south side of Don Tyson Parkway, east of Old Missouri Road. Last year, members of the Walnut Grove Nursing and Rehabilitation Center voiced concerns over how the sounds will affect residents with dementia and Alzheimer's. These people need a lot of special care, and so we're concerned about anything in the environment that might disrupt their care. But members of the animal community in Springdale say it'll be a great addition. I gotta make sure you're okay. Sally Williams is the executive director for Spay Arkansas, and she says her company works closely with Springdale Animal Services. It went for the shelter here. This is been much needed for so long and and it will just benefit the entire community. Kramer says she hopes for a thumbs up from City Council tonight. I think the new facility is going to be a lot more welcoming and I'm hoping that it's more of a place that people would want to come and visit versus oh I got to go pick my dog up from jail. If the presentation goes well tonight, City Council will take one last look at the new shelter Tuesday before giving the go ahead for a groundbreaking. After the shelter breaks ground in a couple weeks, they'll be able to start construction for the new facility, and that will take about a year. Live in studio, Andrew Epperson, Fox 24 News.